Top 10 Fantasy Series on Netflix. In this age, what we can do for ourselves is escape into fantasy shows that will transport us to lands where doing magic is the norm. Dragons can be kept as pets, and jumping between time periods is just another afternoon activity. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 fantasy series on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. There is no trick to the tree that is Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Netflix's adaptation of Roberto Acrosacasa's comic of the same name, starring Kiernan Shipka as the titular teen. The updated story is a far cry from the days of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but yet it encompasses many of the same themes of the original Archie comics and other iterations. It's just that this time, the story is wrapped up in a moody, dark, funny, and stylish atmospheric package that could not be a better herald of fall and the Halloween season. The series picks up just before Sabrina's 16th birthday, which will be marked not by a traditional celebration, but an old tradition a dark baptism under a blood moon where Sabrina will sign over her soul to the Dark Lord. Except Sabrina isn't so sure she wants to do that. She's only half a witch on her father's side, and she spent her entire life living at home with witches and going to school with mortals. But that baptism, and whether or not she's ready to tether herself to the Dark Lord, is just the start of Sabrina's adventures, not the end, as she finds a way to honor both her mortal and supernatural heritage. Ultimately, it's a delight and an obsession, and the scariest thing about it is just how good it is. Number 9. The Magicians Based on the terrific book trilogy by Lev Grossman, sci-fi's The Magicians could be crudely described as an R-rated Harry Potter. Jason Ralph stars as Quentin Coldwater, a melancholic late 20-something who discovers that not only is magic real, but he's a magician. He goes to Break Bills, a graduate school for magicians of sort, and soon discovers there's an even bigger twist involved. The show, like the books, tackles issues of depression, sexual assault, and mental illness in a realistic but entertaining way. Its darkly funny sense of humor keeps things from getting too dark, and the performances are great. The show really comes into its own in season two, but the first season is an entertaining introduction into the complicated up world of the magicians. Number eight, Troll Hunters, Tales of Arcadia. Guillermo del Toro's original animated series, Troll Hunters, is an absolute delight. The Dreams Work animation production takes place in the quiet town of Arcadia, where a young boy named Jim not only stumbles upon an amulet that makes him a troll hunter, but who also discovers that there's an entire world full of trolls living in secret underground. The show combines the classic Saturday morning cartoon vibe with the serialized narrative drive of something like Breaking Bad, resulting in a series that's as delightful as it is addicting. Number 7. The Witcher one for fans of traditional fantasy, The Witcher tells the story of Geralt, Henry Cavill, a mutated monster hunter struggling to find his place in the world in which people often prove more wicked than beasts. The Witcher is a fantasy drama based on a video game series, which in turn is adapted from a series of novels by Polish author Andrzej Sapowski. Set in the continent, the story follows Geralt of Rivia, a monster hunter, and Cyrilla, Princess of Sintra. The two main characters are connected in mysterious ways, and the series has a slow, methodical pace. The Witcher is full of medieval fantasy action and intriguing characters. With a third season on the way, it's a good time to dive into the world of the continent. There are elves, dwarves, sorcerers, werewolves, and other less familiar creatures drawn from Slavic myth. And there's an abundance of excellent female characters to root for, too. Number 6. Arcane to think that Arcane is based on the lore of a massively popular multiplayer game is a bit confounding. However, the League of Legends mythos is rich and complex, leading itself well to world building. The show stars Heli Steinfeld, True Grit, Bumblebee, Edge of Seventeen, as Violet, aka V. Together with her sister, the two navigate a powder kick scenario. The technological disparity between the utopian overcity, Pilvator, and Zon, where the 99% live. As tensions rise, the sisters are forced to choose sides. Number 5. Shadow and Bone Shadow and Bone is a classic coming-of-age story, depicting how orphan Alina Starkov learns to use her latent magical powers to save her home country and her friends from the terrifying darkness called the Fold. Netflix's latest series, Shadow and Bone, features a well-known Chosen One narrative with extensive enough appeal to magnetize even those who think they are not fond of fantasy. Based on author Lee Bardigo's Shadow and Bone trilogy, Shadow and Bone follows an orphan cartographer named Alina Starkov, who discovers that she is a Grisha, a being with the ability to manipulate matter on a molecular level. 
As it so happens, Alina's gifts could potentially serve a greater universal good. However, there are conspiratorial forces at work that want to kill Alina, along with other Grishas whom she encounters on her journey. The series has been renewed for a second season based on the second book in the series. Number 4. Outlander Based on Diana Gabaldon's massively admired book series, Outlander follows the story of Claire Randolph, a nurse in 1940s England who waltzed on holiday to Scotland, gets elated back through spiritual stones to the 1740s. Outlander is a Netflix show based on a series of novels of the same name by Diana Gabaldon. As the books are ongoing, there is no lack of material to be adapted. The series follows Claire Randolph, Catriona Bella, a woman whose life in Scotland in 1945 is upended when she's mysteriously sent back to 1743. From there, Claire meets a taxman named Jamie Fraser, Sam Hewen, and becomes involved in an uprising. The series plays with fictionalized versions of historical events. Interestingly, the series was developed by Ronald D. Moore, who worked on various Star Trek series and brought the 2004 Battlestar Galactica series to life. A seventh season is on the way, with a prequel series in the early stages of production. Number 3. Disenchantment Taking place in the fully magical world of Dreamland, Disenchantment follows the disaffected Princess Bean, who bucks against her father's plans for her to be married off in the traditional medieval manner. Matt Groening has made quite a name for himself with The Simpsons, Futurama, and the cult favorite Life in Hell comics. With his first series for Netflix, Disenchantment, he enters new territory, the world of medieval fantasy. Set within Dreamland, the story follows Princess Bean, Abby Jacobson, her elf friend Elfo, Academy Award winner Nate Faxon, and a demon named Lucy, Eric Andre. The series has all of the usual Matt Groening-style sensibilities, plus magic and dragons. Veteran voice actor John DiMaggio, Tress McNeil, Maurice Lamar, Billy West, and many others lend the show their singular talents. Number 2. Supernatural For 15 seasons, Supernatural has told the story of the Winchester brothers, Sam and Dean, fighting monsters and ghouls. The show pulls from the mythology traditions from across the globe, allowing Supernatural to stay fresh right up to its series finale in 2020. Number 1. Lock and Key Lock and Key follows the Locke family, who have relocated to their spooky family home of Keystone House after a traumatic death. The Locke children, Tyler, Kinsey, and Young Bo, find keys that bring powers ranging from super strength to mind reading. While a fantasy show, Lock and Key has some serious horror elements that go beyond simple jump scares, but it's the special effects and sound design that really elevate the series above its competition. The show uses these advantages to ramp up the tension during its horror sequences and bring some of its more fantastical moments to life. At times, it can be bogged down by not fully realized romantic subplots, and its examples of teen drama can be a bit overwrought. But Lock and Key handles themes of loss and grief more deftly than might be expected from any show. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.